Hi, welcome to a short video dealing with importing PolyWave files into Reaper and how to process them. I've been wanting to make a video about this for, for a while now because there's a little bit of uh, confusion, I think, sometimes over what exactly a PolyWave file is. And um, for those of you that um, record on a sound device's mix pre, or uh, I think some of the Zoom devices do this as well. Um, when you download the audio files to your computer, you may open them for the first time and be like, what the heck is this? So like if you look at my screen here, you notice that uh, I come up with a file that has multiple tracks of audio embedded within. So I recorded today three channels of audio. I recorded a left and right main pair as well as a lav mic on the artist yet i get a file with five tracks so i'm going to talk to you today about what that means how to bring it into reaper and what to do with it once you get it there so you can work on it so i've imported all of my my audio files from my sound devices mix pre into reaper i only recorded three tracks of audio yet i ended up with these polyway files that clearly have five tracks so the reason for that is I had my mix pre set to record not just tracks one, two, and three, but also the left and right mix. So in this case, the first two tracks are the mix, and then I have my tracks one, two, and my lav mic was on track three. What do we do with this when we get it into Reaper? Well, good question. Um, Reaper fortunately has a really easy way of dealing with this. And we simply go to the track, highlight it, right click, and I'm going to go down to item processing. So in Reaper, each of these pieces of audio is considered an item. We want to explode multi-channel audio or MIDI to new one channel items. So we're gonna take this track and we're gonna explode it into individual tracks all of its own. So let's do that and see what it looks like. So now the track is done exploding. I love the idea of exploding tracks. Um, and now you can see that I have a folder track and then I have the five individual tracks underneath. So again, channel one was my left channel mix, channel two, right channel mix, channel three, track one, channel four, track two, and channel five is track three. I know it's a little confusing and trust me, I've gone back and forth and like done this over and over to make sure I know that I'm getting the right thing. So at this point, your audio is exploded. You can mute your left and right mix if you just want to hear the isolated mics. And here I can hear the fantastic playing I got to record today. Now, what to do with this? Well, I can pull up my mixer and I can process this audio any way I want. I can add EQ, do whatever I'm going to do. If you're doing a larger recording, sometimes it's it's easier in order to clean up. If I'm not going to use those mix tracks, I may just delete them. In this case, it's mostly a duplicate of the audio that's in tracks one and two, my left and right main mics. Um, occasionally the lav mic is used. In this particular example, not that much. So I can just delete that. Delete that track. I can delete right mix track and I'm left with my three okay still in a folder which is nice in Reaper then you can either put your effects on the folder track if you'd like and then I've routed that folder track to my mix and to my, my mix bus and to my reverb I could also get rid of the folder track and just have the three isolated tracks if I wanted and route them to my mix bus and to my reverb if I wanted I don't have to have the folder track it's a convenient way in Reaper to uh, group your tracks together, though. So that's it. That's how to explode PolyWave files within Reaper from your sound devices mix pre. Thanks.